All right, let's hear them jakes. So welcome to another episode of Twin Stick Garage. Today, my new toy is getting delivered. So this is gonna be the, uh, the second truck I'm gonna work on, Project Snowman. The old 79 W900A. There she is. <laughs> oh, I got Jen set on her, so hopefully she starts right up. He's dialed right to life. Oh, the old coming like the smoke. So as you can see, the trailer is just a little too short and the ramps are too steep. So I had to get a local towing company to come out and uh, bring a deck truck. So we'll just suck it onto that deck and then we'll be able to offload it onto the ground here. So a little bit of monkeying around, but we'll get her done. Let's hear them jakes. <laughs> awesome. These Cummins wrap a little more than the, uh, the cats do. Okay, let's do a little closer look at what we bought here. <clears throat> That's good. Yeah, all the gauges work, which is surprising. You know, I'm all in a lot better position than the uh, the peak. So the water temp, for the oil engine oil pressure, just a hair under 60. And actually, the the louvers were working on the front there, so it uh, warms up real quick. Yeah, it's going to need a lot of cleaning, but still, it's uh, <laughs> a far cry. Uh, oh, she's probably low on air, that's why the uh, wipers aren't working. But uh, yeah, far cry from where uh, where I started with the, with the old Pete. Western Star 
seat. We're going to have to get rid of that. So yeah, I'm probably going to do the same thing that I did with the peat. Just kind of take it all apart and clean it all out and then build it back up. But I'm starting in a much better place than I did with the Peterbilt. And there was a... Peterbilt was pretty far gone when I brought it home. This thing doesn't seem to drip a bit of oil. We had it running on his trailer and there was uh, no drops of anything. Uh, exhaust is pretty rotten, so that'll have to go. I'm gonna get the forklift out here while the ground's still frozen and flip off the, uh, the headache rack. Now, the leaf spring, sus spring suspension, so in the previous video I was commenting that it's gonna ride like a Cadillac. I I'm aware that it will not. But um, this one, this particular suspension, is interesting because it only has, it rides on the upper two leafs there uh, until it has a load. So it actually doesn't ride too bad you know, from what I've been told. And it isn't until you put a put a heavy load that it actually goes on the, uh, the main springs there. So she might not be too, too bad. Uh, the wheels, of course, if, uh, if you've uh, seen previous uh, episodes, I picked up some new aluminum bud wheels, just like the front. And a guy's already actually uh, reached out to me. He really wants these old steel wheels with the holes. So maybe I'll do a trade with him and he can get, uh, we'll trade for some tires or something. We'll take the headache rack off, like I said, clean up the sleeper, but definitely starting in a, like I say, a much better place. But uh, this project, we'll, uh, we'll get rolling on it once we finish the peat. My dad always taught me that you, you don't uh, you don't start another project till you to finish what you started. So we'll finish up on Old Blue. There's still some work to finish up there, but we'll get this truck done and then we'll uh, we'll move on to this one. <laughs> Can't wait. So on the back here, probably similar to what I did on the Pete. I'll uh, I'll take this all down, put it on jack stands, take the wheels off. Uh, I'll probably get someone to come in and do the sandblasting. I just don't want to do sandblasting anymore. Uh, not too safe. But uh, it's mostly just surface rust. You can see that uh, that'll clean it up nicely. Then we can prime and paint the frame. And that'll make it look a lot nicer underneath. You know, of course, we'll get nice new exhaust. I'll probably use my, uh, my poor man's straight pipes on this truck. And we'll put the, uh, the heat shield ones that I took off the peat and we'll put those on here so it'll be straight pipes and we'll uh, we'll clean up the paint put that new hood on and yeah get some decent tires for it and she'll be a pretty uh, pretty sharp looking ride now this particular model was one of the higher end Kenworths because it had the, uh, uh, the air conditioner up on the roof if I can get up here without falling down so there's the uh, the condenser and the original rockets. Now the uh, you can see she's all smashed, but I've uh, I deleted the the roof mounted condenser off the peat, so I've still got the cover. So I think I'll be able to reuse the cover that was in better shape, and we may be able to salvage the uh, the air conditioning system on this truck. It was just too far gone on the peat to reuse, and what I'm planning to do with Full blue is I'll put a condenser off a 379 in front of the radiator and kind of keep that cleaner look. Whereas with this truck, we're going to go more of the classic. Now, one nice thing about Kenworths that uh, we're di where it differed from Peterbilt is they actually had fiberglass roof caps. So they didn't rot out like, uh, of course, the same challenge that I've had on the peat. So that's nice. And the old, uh, the old coffin sleeper. We get ourselves a new mattress, but the uh, the interior is actually in pretty good shape. I think I bet you we can just clean that up with some pledge and, and make it look like new again. I did get the same guy I bought the wheels off of. Uh, he had a, a new roof panel that has uh, a fancier one where the the uh, the VIT with the buttons are actually in the roof. So I'll put that one in, and uh, we'll see what kind of mouse nest we have hiding up there. Not a lot of room in these old cabs, so hopefully there's not too many uh, too many issues with mice. Can just take these covers off and get at the wiring. I'll probably replace all the hoses. 
in behind just like I did on the Pete. You know, 40 year old truck, rubber airlines just don't last. Uh, probably get rid of this rubber floor. <clears throat> Do something similar to I did on the Pete where you have the, uh, the panels, the floor panels. And yeah, that's gonna be good. Get a nice low rider seat here. need a handle for the, uh, the handles missing. So if anyone has a T-handle off a uh, 900 day sleeper, send me a note, because I need one. Yeah, doesn't look too bad at all. Just a little dirty, showing her age, but yeah, I'm not a fan of this headache rack. That's gotta go. Oh boy, me and my projects. Sure love my wife. She's pretty awesome to be putting up with these uh, these midlife crisis truck projects. But I guess everyone's got their collections and things they like to work on. And I sure like working on these old trucks. So, yeah, we'll maybe do a little bit of cleaning on this one. But again, I'm not going to uh, not going to jump in too deep until we get. Uh, oh, hey, Beth until we get old blue finished up. So we'll check out the, uh, the ranch as Peg calls it, where the horses hang out. So there we go, Cummins Big Cam 350. Oh, got a little leak on the uh, coolant line there. Easy fix, but it shows uh, stuff that's 40 years old. Lines start to leak. <clears throat> yeah, the guy said, uh, that I bought it off. He said the previous owner did a bunch of work uh, to this old girl. Did the injectors and did some work on the top end. Did the pump and actually cranked the pump up as well. So she may not get the best mileage, but uh, she's gonna bark, bark real nice. Um, yeah, there was, a, there was a leak when he brought it home four years ago on the, on the coolant pump. So he had that fixed up before he sold it to me, which was awesome. Obviously, we'll, uh, we'll replace all these old frayed lines. Um, you can see this the fuel lines and stuff. They just just got years on them. But again, nothing that can't be fixed. Just uh, just time and money. Ugh. Even the louvers work, which I was surprised at. A lot of guys will uh, lock them open or just take them off altogether. They weren't even on my uh on my peat but yeah the doors are tight you know, they need new uh, weather stripping but uh they're still in really good shape and the guy that i bought the uh, the wheels off of he had uh so the one that was on this truck was uh was a cover that was all the way up so it's a pretty big step so he had one of these laying around and i said i want that it's kind of on the, uh, the fancier can where it's had the second step See, do we got any air pressure? Well, that's kind of a minty old gauge. Look at that. It's for the uh, delta P on the uh, air filters. Yeah, so we still got a low air light. Wanted to give this thing a little uh, back and forth. Obviously, you can't drive it off the yard, but oh, he's right. The power steering is is just like butter. That's impressive. At Peterbilt, you still got to work at it to, to turn. So I was talking to my cousin this morning, and he said, you might not want to add three or four feet to the frame of this truck because these old Kenworths don't turn very sharp. I guess the tires only turn a little ways. And he said, uh, if you lengthen it out, it might make it even harder. So I might just leave that alone. Now, all right, let's see if we can get some air. Two years to get all blue moving around. This thing's already ready to go. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, the clutch feels good. Oh, this old girl. 
Sweet. Shows they made quality back then. This is a great old truck. And she still needs restoration, but. It runs pretty sweet. Oh, I just can't get over the steering on this thing. Steer with a pinky finger. Uh, let's move it over so I can get in out of my garage. Awesome. Well, isn't that pretty? Class of 79. 79 Kenworth with a 350 Big Cam Cummins, 79 feet with an old 3406A cap. <laughs> I'm a lucky man. Finally got my own fleet. <laughs> Today is a good day.